A comet from another star system just pulsed, not with light, but with magnetism. Every 147 seconds, a perfect signal. Michio Kaku says this shouldn't exist. Comets aren't supposed to do this. Nothing in physics explains it. What is 3i slash A-T-L-A-S? And why is it breaking the rules of reality? Kaku's warning, a pulse from the void. This magnetic pulse breaks known physical law. That's how Michio Kaku described the signal from 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, a comet-like object that just did something no known celestial body should be capable of. In the vacuum of space, silence is expected, especially from interstellar objects, which typically drift past without a sound, releasing gas and dust only as they near the sun. But this one was different. It spoke, not in light, but in magnetism. Every 147 seconds, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S emitted a precise magnetic pulse, so consistent that it echoed across Earth's magnetometers and space-based sensors alike. No known natural object pulses like that. Not comets, not asteroids, not even the most chaotic tumbling ice balls from our own Oort cloud. To Michio Kaku, this wasn't just an anomaly. It was a signal that physics itself had been challenged. He has long argued that breakthroughs begin where models fail. Just as quantum tunneling was once seen as impossible, particles appearing where they physically shouldn't. This pulse could be our generation's equivalent moment, a wake-up call that the universe still holds secrets far beyond the edges of current theory. But Kaku also knows the weight of caution. Nature doesn't just break its own laws for no reason. If something behaves in a way we've never seen, it means one of two things. Either there is a hidden mechanism we haven't discovered, or the foundation of our understanding is incomplete. This isn't just about one object. To Kaku, this is a philosophical tremor, a reminder that even now, in the 21st century, we are still students of the cosmos, and the lesson has just begun. Next comes the object itself, and why this particular interstellar visitor has scientists completely rethinking what's possible. The interstellar visitor that shouldn't speak. 3i slash A-T-L-A-S wasn't just another rock drifting through space. It was fast. Too fast. On July 1st, 2025, it appeared as a faint streak in data from the Atlas survey in Hawaii. But its trajectory, the trajectory and speed were off the charts over 26 kilometers per second, even after correcting for the sun's gravity. That meant only one thing. This object came from beyond the solar system. Astronomers quickly confirmed its hyperbolic orbit with an eccentricity far beyond anything bound to the sun. It wouldn't loop back. This was a one-way visitor, cutting across our system on a permanent escape path. Designated 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, the third confirmed interstellar object in history it immediately became the subject of global focus, but even early observations hinted it wasn't behaving like the others. Michio Kaku calls such objects test particles of the galaxy, natural messengers from systems we'll never visit, bringing with them the untouched chemistry and physics of alien stars. In his view, these bodies are like lab samples sent to us by the universe itself. But 3i slash A, T, L, A, S wasn't passive. It wasn't silent. It emitted heat in rhythmic pulses. It vented carbon dioxide in staggering quantities. And later, it unleashed that now infamous magnetic signal, echoing like a cosmic metronome. These weren't random outbursts. They were structured, precise, and most of all, unexplained. Kaku sees this not as a curiosity, but as an invitation. If this object is pulsing, venting, and radiating in ways we've never seen, then maybe it's telling us something, not intentionally, but through its very nature, something about the deep space it came from, something about what's possible when matter forms under alien skies. And the first piece of that message lies in its chemistry, a composition so extreme, even our weirdest comets can't compare. That's where we go next. Chemical code, the impossible breath of three, I slash A, T, L, A, S. 3i slash A-T-L-A-S isn't just strange because it's from another star system. It's strange because it's made of the wrong stuff. Most comets, even the oddballs from the Oort cloud, release a mix of water vapor, methane, 
and small amounts of carbon compounds. But this object didn't follow that formula. Over 90% of its outgassing was pure carbon dioxide, not mixed, not diluted, just CO2 pouring out in a steady, uninterrupted stream. To Michio Kaku, this was the first chemical alarm bell. No comet we've ever studied behaves this way. It suggests that 3I-ATLAS formed in a region of space far colder and more chemically extreme than anything near our sun. It didn't just carry exotic material, it was exotic material. The James Webb Space Telescope confirmed it. Thermal scans showed a consistent release of heat, but not chaotic, not random. The temperature rose and fell with mathematical precision, almost like the beat of a machine. That pattern repeated again and again, mirroring the same interval as the magnetic pulse that would be detected later. Kaku interpreted this as something deeper than coincidence. The CO2 wasn't just escaping, it was being vented with intention, or at least with a mechanism we don't yet understand. He described it as a kind of chemical signature from another world, possibly even another kind of chemistry altogether, something shaped by conditions that Earth-based science has never been able to simulate. The mystery grew, because if an object is venting pure carbon dioxide like a heartbeat, and at the same time releasing heat and magnetism, then we're not just dealing with an icy body anymore, we're dealing with a phenomenon. And for Kaku, that meant one thing, time to rewrite what we think is possible. The next discovery made that necessity even clearer. The magnetic pulse that defies physics. The first detection came from a magnetometer in Utah, a small spike that repeated every 147 seconds, not approximately, exactly. It wasn't interference or solar activity. It was a precise rhythmic magnetic pulse, and all data pointed to 3I slash ATLAS. Soon, stations worldwide confirmed it. Japan, South Africa, Alaska, even satellites far from Earth picked it up. The pulse wasn't local. It was coming from deep space, and it was coming from this object. Michio Kaku recognized the implications immediately. Natural objects don't emit time magnetic signals, especially not comets, not with this kind of precision. It defied every known model. Scientists tried to explain it. Could it have a magnetic core? Spectral data said no, no metals, just ice and carbon dioxide. Could it be spinning like a dynamo? Its rotation didn't match the pulse. Plasma, solar wind, too chaotic, nothing fit. So what was left? Kaku's answer, Nothing in current physics explains this. Gravity, magnetism, thermodynamics, all fall short. And yet the signal is real, constant, predictable. This isn't just rare, Kaku said. It's forbidden. That's the line. It's not a curiosity. It's a contradiction. And contradictions in physics are how revolutions begin. So the question becomes, is this the first time or the first time we've noticed? The breakdown of conventional models. After the pulse was confirmed, researchers rushed to explain it using known physics. They started with the obvious, a metallic core. Maybe it had enough iron to retain magnetism from long ago, but the scans showed no such materials, just ice, dust, and carbon dioxide, not magnetic stuff. Next came rotation. Could it be spinning fast enough to create a magnetic field? The light curve said otherwise, it wasn't rotating fast. And worse, the spin didn't match the 147 second pulse, not even close. Plasma effects were modeled, dust grains, solar wind, charging effects. But plasma is messy, it surges, it flickers, it doesn't tick like a clock. Models showed only irregular, unstable signals, nothing like what they observed. Every natural explanation failed. The pulse was still there, stable, unchanged, unmatched by any comet or asteroid. No mechanism could explain it. And that, Kaku says, is the breaking point. When you run out of options, you're forced to admit the truth. The models are incomplete. Something's missing in how we understand interstellar objects. And that's when Kaku looked backward, to the other puzzles we never solved. The Echo of Past Anomalies. 3I slash ATLAS isn't the first time the universe broke its own script. In 2017, Oumuamua entered our solar system and accelerated with no visible propulsion. 
It had no tail, no venting, and yet it sped up. Scientists tried to explain it, but nothing truly fit. Then there's the 1977 WOW signal, a 72-second radio burst at 1420 megahertz. Detected once, never repeated, never explained. It became one of SETI's most enduring mysteries. Kaku doesn't see these as isolated. They're part of a pattern, events that step outside the laws we expect. Signals, pulses, unexplained forces. Moments where randomness gives way to precision. He calls it a statistical fingerprint, a subtle trail that suggests something deeper. Maybe these are rare natural events, or maybe we're brushing against something more. Kaku compares it to Mercury's orbit. That tiny deviation led to Einstein's theory of relativity. Perhaps now, it's happening again, but with magnetism. Each anomaly is a crack in the surface, and with 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, that crack just got wider. Quantum ice and exotic matter, Kaku's hypotheses. When nothing familiar explains an event, Michio Kaku looks to the frontier. One idea is that 3i slash A-T-L-A-S contains exotic ices. Not the water and CO2 we know, but materials stable only in deep space. Under extreme conditions, they might switch states and release energy on a fixed schedule. Experiments on Earth have hinted at this. Compressed or supercooled ices can create small electric or magnetic effects. They're tiny here, but scaled to an object kilometers wide in space. They could become significant, enough to generate detectable magnetic pulses. Kaku calls this dark chemistry, not science fiction, but unexplored physics. If true, the object isn't a probe, it's a messenger from an environment we've never studied directly. Still, there's a problem. The 147 second pulse doesn't drift. It doesn't change. It stays locked with the object's thermal and gas patterns. That kind of precision is difficult to explain naturally. Even if this is a quantum effect, Kaku admits it's still too perfect. And that leads to the question no one wants to ask, but everyone is now considering. The techno signature debate and Kaku's caution. As soon as the magnetic pulse became public, some in the scientific community began whispering about a techno-signature, a possible sign of engineered or intelligent origin. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb went so far as to place 3i slash A-T-L-A-S high on his own scale for potential artifacts, arguing that the synchronized heat, gas, and magnetic pulses line up more like a beacon than a random process. The idea is simple. If a civilization wanted to send a signal without using radio waves, a repeating magnetic pulse from a passing object would be unmistakable. Kaku, however, has been careful to set limits. He reminds people that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. There is no trace of alloys, circuitry, or non-natural materials in the spectrum of 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. Its composition still looks like ice and carbon dioxide, not metal or machine. The 147 second pulse is a regularity, but regularity alone does not prove design. He also warns against anthropocentric bias, the assumption that alien technology would resemble ours. A magnetic pulse could be a signal, or it could be a natural process we don't yet understand. To leap straight to alien probe is to repeat the mistakes of the past. When lightning was called divine, or comets were seen as omens. Still, Kaku acknowledges that the discussion itself is significant. For decades, the search for intelligence focused on radio bursts, laser flashes, or giant orbital structures. Now, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S forces scientists to consider that a simple magnetic rhythm might belong on that list. Whether it turns out to be a product of physics or engineering, it expands the way we think about what evidence of intelligence might look like. And for Kaku, that's the real value. The pulse has cracked open a door. Even if no one's on the other side, it has shown us a new way of looking and a new class of mysteries to investigate. Rewriting the rulebook, Kaku's bigger message. When 3i slash A TLS defied the predictions of comet science, Michio Kaku didn't just see an anomaly. He saw a call to revise the foundations. Every major leap in physics, from Newton to Einstein to quantum mechanics, began with small contradictions, one orbit that didn't match the math. 
one light ray bending too far. Now, it's a magnetic pulse from deep space, ticking away in silence while the models come up empty. Kaku has stressed that the standard model of how small bodies behave, especially comets, is based entirely on objects born in our solar system, their chemistry, their structure, their behavior under sunlight. But 3I-ATLAS doesn't play by those rules. Its chemistry is alien, its heat output follows a pattern, and its magnetism appears with impossible precision. What this means, Kaku argues, is that our theories about magnetism, outgassing, and even the thermodynamics of icy bodies might need to be rewritten. The equations that describe energy release, field generation, and matter interaction at extreme distances may be incomplete. And if that's the case, we aren't just adding a new chapter to the textbooks. We're opening an entirely new volume. He's not suggesting that current science is wrong, but that it's limited. Every generation assumes it has the final answer until the next mystery arrives. And with 3i slash A, T, L, A, S, that mystery isn't just a curiosity, it's measurable, repeatable, and globally confirmed. The universe, Kaku often says, is under no obligation to make sense, but it always leaves clues. This magnetic pulse is one of those clues, not just to the composition of a comet, but to the very structure of reality. It's an invitation to investigate, to challenge assumptions, and to expand the limits of what we consider possible. And for those willing to follow the trail, the next step lies in where we go from here. The frontier opens, Kaku's call to curiosity. Kaku believes 3i slash A-T-L-A-S is more than an event. It's a threshold, a moment that separates what we thought we knew from what we now have to explore. He's urged the scientific community to begin a systematic search for magnetic signatures in future interstellar visitors. Not just light and motion, but fields and pulses. Because if one object can do this, there may be others. And if we're not looking, we won't see them. He's also called for missions that can fly by these bodies, sample their fields directly, and collect real-time magnetic and thermal data. Just as we've sent probes to comets and asteroids, it may be time to intercept these one-time visitors and gather their secrets before they vanish into deep space. Takaku 3i slash ATLAS isn't just a scientific puzzle, it's a philosophical disruption. A reminder that no matter how much we've learned, the universe is still wild, still strange, still capable of surprising us. And that should be cause for wonder, not fear. Every great theory, he says, begins with a contradiction, a single result that doesn't fit, a signal that shouldn't exist, a pattern we can't explain. That's what 3i slash ATLAS is, a contradiction in the sky, and maybe, just maybe, the first whisper from a deeper order of reality we're only beginning to hear. For Michio Kaku, 3i slash ATLAS isn't just a comet, it's a message, not written, but pulsing from the edge of known physics. If this magnetic rhythm is real, our models aren't enough. Something deeper is happening in space. And this, he says, may be the first sign of a new frontier. 